Now let's shift our focus back to NVIDIA. How worried are they really? Although NVIDIA is still the top dog, pressure is mounting, its GPU business growth is slowing, and major clients are now developing their own chips. Google, Amazon, Meta, OpenAI. These former cash cows are now building in-house. NVIDIA's market share will inevitably shrink. Over the past five years, the narrative was, whoever trains big models needs to buy 100,000 H100s first. In the next five years, the narrative becomes, whoever can buy 10,000 fewer H100s saves $150 million. For example, the emergence of the XPU is a critical step for OpenAI. Of course, NVIDIA isn't sitting still, they hold three aces. In other words, NVIDIA's moat is being filled in bit by bit. And what's scarier is that this is just the beginning. So friends, if you're still stuck in the old narrative of NVIDIA is forever the king, thinking that H1000 shortages will let Jensen Huang cruise for the next decade, then take a look at what happened in the past seven days. Oracle stock surged over 27%, Broadcom stock jumped 15% at one point, and OpenAI's valuation exceeded $150 billion. The market always moves faster than analyst reports. It smells the blood in the water of power shifts before retail. Investors DR. Of course, there are risks. Don't just see the surge. There are landmines ahead. First, Oracle's leverage. High debt could lead to credit rating downgrades if cash flow doesn't keep up. Second, OpenAI's burn risk. If they spend $115 billion and revenue doesn't follow, their $500 billion valuation could crash. Musk wasn't wrong saying OpenAI doesn't actually have that much money. Third, private credit overheating. Too much capital flooding into AI compute could cause a crash if demand doesn't meet expectations, especially for companies building data centers with loans. What if XPU tapeout fails? What if Stargate's environmental review fails? What if the Fed delays rate cuts, raising OpenAI's financing costs? Any black swan could turn $115 billion into smoke. But OpenAI is no longer a startup. It's playing with a national team strategy, fighting for sovereignty over AI infrastructure. If it succeeds, it becomes the next AI leader. If it fails, it will drag NVIDIA down with it into a red ocean of price wars. No matter the outcome, compute will no longer be expensive. AI will no longer be scarce and consumers will benefit in the end. As for investors, stop asking, can I still buy NVIDIA? Instead, ask if compute eventually becomes as cheap as cabbage, who will still make money? The answer, of course, lies among the shovel sellers to find the one preparing to dig for gold themselves. Today, that one is OpenAI.